So now we've got our devices and our medical things. And of course, we've got our medical bay here that can re, uh, regenerate us and everything, which is really nice. And it's got the little thing on it that a lot of the devices do now. So the next thing we want to set up is the living chambers so we can go ahead and get this stuff moved over there. All right, welcome back everybody to Know-It-All DM Entertainment. I'm Know-It-All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great, hanging out, playing Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 12 Experimental. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. If you like what you see, don't forget, hit that like button. Haha. <laughs> so I've been doing some things uh, off camera a bit. And uh, see, we got 24 batter. Yeah, we I can just turn everything off and sort of save energy. Um, although I'll probably need to turn some of the stuff on. But in any case... Uh, I've been doing a little bit off camera, and uh, like I said last episode, I went ahead and built out the cargo uh, storage area. Right now, over here, I've got all the base and capital vessel stuff, including the, some of the gardening stuff that we picked up back in the first episode. And then over here, we've got the uh, like little extra stuff, and then we've got the SV and uh, HV pieces in there over here we've got our temporary living quarters set up we've got the food processor that pulls food from there and throws it out in here we've gotten a little bit of good food started you know building up i've got 27 of these is that gonna be enough what's nine times four um i don't think i had enough Did, can i make more no what am i out of spoiled food i'm out of spoiled food i don't know we'll figure it out so i need that and uh, what we're going to be doing today, while I am preparing for some, uh, for the garden and such, let's just pop this on. Um, I'm going to need, there we go, 36 is what I need altogether. Um, it's not going to make 36, it's only going to make 27, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about that too much right now, uh, because today... The main thing we're going to be working on is we're going to be working on the living quarters over here, which I have a little bit, you know, started with some of the cement and such. And then over here, we're going to set up the medical bay. And you'll notice I'm not wearing any armor. And that's because if I'm wearing armor, my food goes down a lot quicker. So while I'm in the base, I'm just going to leave the armor in the armor locker there. Although I do have to remember to put it back on when I leave. Okay, let's just grab a little bit of food here. Nom nom nom. All right. So, first things first. That's not the door. That's the door. Uh, we are going to want to connect to this. And then we're going to set up the medical bay. So, this, that, one of those, and two lights. Although, I'll probably only use one light i'm gonna need this and two of those although i'll probably no i'll need one of those and i will i wonder if i can uh well, use a a like a, a cabinet or something as a uh thing oh i'm going to need another door do you have a door made up for me no Okay, uh, let's just throw a door into the mix and uh, we'll grab that once it's done. Okay, so first things first, we need to texture the interior here. Now for the medical, all right, I'm gonna grab my uh, armor because, now there's a little thing. Okay, so you turn the light on and then, there you go. Now you've got light and no armor. Um, it's, a, it's a little uh, bug that, that that's going on right now. And I don't know how long it's been there, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and texturize the walls. And then the floor. I want the floor of this place. Hmm, I'm thinking... 
I'm just going to texture this over to there like so. And in the middle here, I'm just going to throw that there. And then these, I almost always do like that because blue is more of my medical uh, color than red is. Red seems more like, is more like my, my combat, my emergency, stuff like that. So, okay. Um, first things first. Primarily, we are going to need... Uh, there is not a lot of room here. I might actually need to uh, do a little bit of expanding. I'm thinking that direction. So let's just pull those up. Now, go ahead and expand this and then the floor. That's a little bit better. Don't you agree? Just a little entryway. And then over here, we've got the major things. I'm thinking I'm going to put my, uh, the, uh, this thing right here in this corner. Um, but then again, it is a medical device and I want to put all the medical devices together. So, okay, let's put this over here. All right. We're going to put the medical tables. We're going to put one here and one there and then these are going to come on to this wall there and there okay now i want a operating table here between those along this wall we are going to put let's see if i put this hmm I guess we'll put one of these mm, on the wall, like so. Okay, so we can access the tank. And then um, I'll put some of those in engineering, I think, to hold the uh, power uh, stuff. So the rest of this, for now, we'll be fine. Okay, over here, I'm going to put this along this wall. This is going to be there. That's where I store all my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, stuff. Let's connect, let's see, back to constructor main output. Um, get a few of these. And closet, can I connect this to the closet? I can. Okay. Now let's see if I can connect it to a wardrobe. Maybe. Um, is there a wardrobe output? No. So, okay. The closet, it will be, this will be our medical closet here. So we'll pull it from there and place it into here. So let's uh, come here. Medical closet. Let's call it just the medical cabinet. Okay, and then you are the medical fridge. Let's connect the medical fridge out to the medical cabinet. There we go. And now we can put all of our medical stuff into here. Now I am going to need one of these and this, I think I'm going to put the O2 station over there. This I can put right here. Hmm. No, I'll put this here and I'll put the O2 station right there. This is going to be our uh, medical water purifier. Okay. And what this is going to do, this is going to connect to our primary water tank, which is going to end up going right in this uh, center here. 
and uh, that's where I'm going to be storing all of my water containers, uh, which I did put some water generators down by the uh, water. So they're right down here. And uh, I'm going to have it so that each of the uh, food processors can uh, will have a small uh, constructor nearby and it will pull them out and place them inside the uh, device that they that they pull from so you can make you know stuff with water the medical devices here require water for uh, purified water for the injections and uh, and I think that's it just the injections and the food processors of course, require water for some of the food and drink things like dino stew and uh, and canned meats and stuff like that, the canned stuff. Uh, now that we've got that, we can pull this up and I'm just gonna go ahead and salvage it like so. And uh, let's see, the next thing we need in here is we need the door. Let's see, is the door Yes, door. Okay, so I'm going to have these doors actually be uh, glass doors, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this one to a glass door as well. Um, door. Because I like having my uh, medical bays with glass doors. So let's go ahead and I'm going to colorize this. Um blue like that oh yeah i can't turn off the light so we're gonna do that and then let's just go ahead and colorize all uh you actually i'm gonna do that color but colorize all of these why is there radiation oh radiated fog of course so um, and of course, now that that's not okay for the time being, let's do this so that we don't have to worry about radiation and the like. Um, I'm going to just pop that like that. And there we go. So now that we are on inside here, it's sealed off and we don't have to worry about radiation while we're in here. Uh, um, this is where we're going to go out. Uh, I don't know exactly how far, but we're going to go out a decent amount. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, put the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit there, the, uh, shuttle bay is going to be over there. And over here where we, uh, have our garden area, um, let's see. Okay, I can go ahead and uh, let's connect cement blocks. I'm going to grab some of that and we're going to just uh, actually let, let me do this. Oh, there was another one. Okay, so we're going to do that, put that there. And over here is, like I said, straight over to the uh, living chambers. It's interesting that in here is insulated but when i get close to here it is not but yet that way it was not at all very weird in my opinion but in any case okay let's put the armor on because it is going to protect us from a little bit of radiation um, up to three rads of radiation so uh, and we can turn this light off because we don't need it right now um Speaking of lights, that's the next thing we're going to need in the medical bay over here. We need to put a light in here. Uh, so let's see. For the signal switch for the light, I'm going to just put it right here. Okay. Interactive. Like that. And then... And I'm going to put this so it comes out one more this way so that when you're going up in here, the light will come on as you're coming into here. Okay, so 
Now, the actual light. Um, let's see, what was, what was I going to put here? Oxygen station. So if I put this over here, let's see if I put this up there. Okay. And then make the range far and then make it blue like that. Uh, I'm going to need the intensity a little higher. Okay, so it comes over to there. And then over here, I'm going to put this there. And there we go. The entire medical bay is illuminated. Um, let's see. Is there a lighter blue? Like a less harsh blue, I guess. That's sort of a... Mm, that'll work I guess if I do that and then that it's sort of a blue purple but I think I like that a little bit better uh, let's just go ahead I'm gonna color this gray so it sort of blends into the ceiling um, so now we've got our devices and our medical things and of course we've got our medical bay here that can re uh, regenerate us and everything which is really nice and it's got the little thing on it that a lot of the devices do now uh really really cool okay um next um i don't know i don't have any oxygen stations or anything yet oh yeah i need to uh set up the sensor so we'll put this uh med light okay and then i will do you with med did I not med light? Okay, is I don't know why that's not. Is it? Did it save this time? Um, med light. There we go. And then you with the same. Okay, now. When I come in, the light comes on. Yay! Okay. So the next thing we want to set up is the living chambers. So we can go ahead and get this stuff moved over there. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead real quick. And I'm going to uh, set up the, uh, the walls of the living chambers. And then I'll come back with you guys once we're ready to texture and populate. All right, we are back. And I'm going to go ahead and start by putting up the railings on here. Now, I want to use, I, I like these railing designs because... It's uh, a little more bunker-ish, I guess. It's less uh, less homey and more, you know, you're trapped underground in a bunker feeling. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to texturize the floor up here. Like so. But down here, we're going to start a more... Uh, home feel to the place. So I think I want to start out here with something like this. Okay. Now over here, we are going to use a little bit of uh, textiles because this is where our kitchen is going to be. And we've got enough room for the, uh, let's see, I might end up, hmm, I don't know what I'm really, I don't, I didn't really think what I want to do with these. First, let's go ahead and let's do the walls. Now, the walls, um, let's see, that's actually not a bad wall texture. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do these as well. So all the walls are going to be textured similarly, like so. And 
Um, yeah, even in here. Now, let's see. This is going to be the bedroom. Out here, I need to place a bathroom and a living room. Actually, hmm. If I could double the kitchen as a bathroom, or maybe I'll put a little bathroom off of this right here. All right, so what I'm going to do, let's just dig out this way a bit. I will put a little bathroom here. Um, give me some concrete blocks like so. Okay, very good. And then we will put the floor here. And then we will put the walls here. And like so. Okay. And then I can just do this. And there we go. Now we have a sealed restroom. Okay, everything looks good. In here, I'm going to utilize these walls. Okay. And then I'm going to utilize this floor as well as I did in the kitchen. And this as the ceiling, like so. So let's go ahead and um, in the restroom, we want a shower. I think I'm going to put the shower all the way over there. The toilet, um, I will put here. And then, actually, let's rotate this like so. And then we can put a little bench there so you, you know, get ready here and then you take your shower over here. And then along the walls over here, we will have... Let's see, should I put it here or there? I think here we'll have the bathroom... Uh, uh, thing to wash your hands because uh, actually yeah no that's fine um, like so and then a light and light switch um, let's just do light switch and the light is going to be a light like so and we will just uh, do this and reduce the range and there you have it so now we're gonna want a door we're gonna want there we go everything in the bathroom so you can take a shower over here yay now we can get rid of radiation and such as well um let's see if the if this uh, we can make another door and I've got more light switches so I don't need to worry too much about that and I've got more lights just in case and I've got two refrigerators hmm I think I've got more refrigerators than I need alright so for the kitchen I'm gonna put this refrigerator here I'm gonna put this here and then a thin refrigerator here so uh, I don't like that I don't like that let's do this okay oh you need to be uh, textured like so okay um, grab the fridges grab this okay Instead, let's build, let's design this around the kitchen uh, thing here. So, if I put this here, and then I put the medical and the fridge, 
And then if I put a small fridge along that, yeah, no, I like that a lot better. And then we can put the breakfast table. Uh, let's put it there. And then I can actually extend the living room a little bit further this direction. I've got enough room up there to put the uh, lights. So let's just put a strip light there. Okay. And you will be white and range extended. Very good. And I will put a sensor for you there. And I will color you white to match the wall. Okay. And then this will come out to here. Okay. And... You will be kitchen light and we can key you to that so when people come into the kitchen ha, ha they have light um this floor that's not the right texture um was it this no what texture did i use that's weird there we go. No? Um, was it that? Yes, it was this. Okay. So, now we've got this extended just a little further. Very nice. Um, and we can set up... Let's go ahead and hit the door. And this is going to be just like that. But I'm going to color you white to match not just the wall, but bathroom so we can do this and then uh you need to be restroom light and then you will go with restroom light so that you can manually turn on the bathroom light as you enter okay I don't like that in certain places you can see rain coming through even though it's way underground. Very weird that you can see the rain underground in the first place. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and set up the living room lights. Now, the living room lights... I'm going to extend this actually one further out this way. Okay, so there's light here. Actually, I may reduce the size of the bedroom by one. I don't know. I think I do want to reduce the size of the bedroom by one. So let's just go ahead. Okay, so um, now I can reduce this back like I wanted it front to three and then I can put this let's put it here okay and that'll extend into there and this will extend out over there very good um Put that on there and like that. Okay. Very good. Very good. And it sort of melds from one into the next. Okay. Um, and so this is going to be the living room light. Okay. And in the living room, we're going to want a television because who doesn't want to sit around and watch TV while in quarantine under a, in a uh, bunker. Um, I'll put, hmm. Should I move the door to this over to there and then flip all these over to this side? I could do that, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to do that because this is not enough room 
for everything. So, okay. Let's do this. Now, are you illuminated the way? Okay. Let's make you a little bit more intense so that... It, yeah, that's a little bit lit up better anyway. And then over here, this is just a... I don't know, a little alcove of some kind. Um, no, nah, I think what we need to do... Yeah, we need to just put the full wall back. Because that that just works better. Okay, and then... Um, there we go. All right, uh, we've got this, which is the living room light. We just don't have any lights in here yet. Um, first, I'm going to want to put one light... Let's put it over here. And we want the range on this to be full. And then I want one light. Eh, let's put make this one a central thing like that. Okay, now the intensity on this one can come down. And the intensity on this one can come down. There we go. Um, Let's boost the intensity on this one just by one tick. Okay, I like it. I like it. Now, we can put couch, television. Um, I need to get a plant to put over there. Um, we can put this little sofa here. So we've got our little TV area. Um, and then... Oh, what else should we put in here in the main area? I guess I can put a little bench along the wall there and maybe another table. Maybe this time I'll just put uh, one of these tables in here. Um, not really sure what else to put in here. Um, if I had a pool table, I could put a t pool table in here, but I don't think they have pool tables in this game just yet. It would be interesting if they did. That would be a really cool mini game to add. Um, but in the meantime, let's just go ahead and colorize everything we need in here. Um, I'm going to color these various different colors just to add a little uh, color to the room. Okay, and then you can be just gray. You can be yellow. Very nice, very nice. Um, I guess we will color this. Uh, let's color you. I don't know what color. I guess brown for uh, habitat. And then you're blue because you are that. Now we can actually make you the uh, clear door that I wanted you to be in the first place. Okay, and then blue. Okay. So we've got medical. The corridor. I'm going to need another door to go here, but these are going to be orange doors because gardening stuff is orange, at least in my uh, my bases they are, my color code, um, which is why this is going to be, was, is, was going to be a gardening thing. Um, now we can actually pick this up. Let's go ahead, oh, I need to finish the bedroom in here. That is the last thing we need, so. Uh, we'll need one, two, three. I'll just go ahead and do four doors because we may eventually need four doors. But right now we just need one for the bedroom. The bedroom door is going to be one of these and it is going to be right in here. Um, let's color it white. I guess... Uh, let's color it brown. I don't know. I'll color it whatever the interior color of here is going to be. 
probably... Actually, I'm not. I'm going to keep it brown. But this, I usually or often go with a sort of bluish wall coloring. Usually, I'll do... Let's see. What, what, what is my standard? Actually, do I want it white? White actually sort of works. Hmm... But what texture? Actually, that's not a bad texture for the walls in the bedroom. So white walls in the bedroom. Uh, the floor is going to be... Let's just color the floor red in here. Okay. And now I can put a bed. I'm going to go ahead and put the double bed because who does not like a, uh, I would say king size, but this is more like a, like just a double bed. Um, and then we're going to need a nightstand and let's just put another nightstand over there. Uh, we've got all these that we can still, oh, I need, did I put, I didn't, I need to put a, uh, a water purification thing in here. Let's do this. I don't really need this. Okay. Now, this water purification thing is going to go right here. And uh, I need to connect this to that. So this is going to be food input with a space. This is going to be food output which has already been used so this will end up being what food output one until it's changed uh, this will actually need to be food input then okay then you can do from food input to the unused food output oh you need to do it from the food input with a space Where's the food input with a space? There we go. Now I can move all the stuff from food input to there. I'm going to move some of this stuff to the medical wing, like the confetti moss scrapings. Um, so let's go ahead and do medical fridge. Medical fridge is what's going to need crushed stone. No, that's actually going to end up going to the garden. Um, I'm going to put some of those in there. Um, thorns, this, herbal leaves, fire moss, confetti moss, and anything else I need I can transfer over. Um, that. I think everything else I can use for uh, food stuff. Okay. And now... I can actually rename. Let's see. Let's go to the fridges. Um, this. No. The second one is uh, just going to be fridge and fridge. Okay. So I'm going to go grab those and put those in the garden when we do that next episode. But for the time being, we've got, hmm, let's go ahead. I'm going to definitely need a wardrobe. I'm going to need a little, um, that's a, they, they actually moved that from the middle. That's interesting. It used to be in the middle and now it's off on the side. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see control station, which is just like a little computer and desk so I can computerize things. Um, now, what else do I want in here? Put a closet over there. So I've got storage things all over. Let's just colorize them randomly. Eh, let's do purple more. Gold and brown. Okay, and then you can go back to being white to match everything. 
Why is that fully selected? That's weird. Um, this in here was that. This out here was that. Okay. So I can do that and wow it's not even letting me do that that's fine i don't care um the ceilings are all going to remain concrete just to remind me i am in a bunker under the ground um so the next thing we're going to do oh hold on you deserve to be like that okay so we can come out from the garden or the hallway here out into our living area. And our living area, we can come over here into the kitchen and get whatever we need. Um, let me put these. I need to signal these living room and living room. All right. And there we are. So now we've got the living room and the medical bay. Ha ha. We are almost done with the primary portion of our bunker. Um, the habitation area is set up. All we need to finish now is the garden. And then uh, once we get the garden set up and once we get the... Uh, uh, what should we call it in here? The uh, shuttle bay set up. We will have a fully finished bunker. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the like button for me. If you have any questions, comments, concern, leave them in the comments down below. If you want to uh, see more Imperion Galactic Survival Experimental Alpha 12, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know-It-All DM, and as always, y'all have a good day now.